subscribe to our channel, and hit the bell icon, to never miss a video from us. Hi, welcome to Test Prep Training. Today, we will discuss about, Microsoft Azure Security Technologies AZ500 exam. This exam measures your ability to accomplish technical tasks including managing identity, and access, implementing platform protection, managing security operations, and securing data and applications. Now, we will talk about, who should take the exam. Target audience for the Microsoft Azure AZ500 includes First, candidates who aspire to make their careers in the tech field. Second, candidates who want to gain an understanding of Azure fundamentals. Third, individuals who have prior knowledge of advanced security. Fourth, candidates who have prior working experience with Microsoft Azure. Learning objectives. Microsoft certification is a well-known player in the field of cloud computing. This particular vendor states, pertinent details on the different domains included in a specific certification exam. The AZ500 exam focuses on four key areas. First, manage identity and access. Second, implement platform protection. Third, manage security operations. Fourth, secure data and applications. Let us now discuss about learning path. The Azure AZ500 exam helps candidates to explore how to manage identities, provide role-based access, and secure data within an Azure ecosystem. The AZ500 exam is part of Microsoft's new role-based certification program. Candidates who pass the AZ500 exam will earn the Microsoft Certified Azure Security Engineer Associate Certification. The AZ500 exam tests your knowledge in four different subject areas, and that's how this learning path is structured. Exam Format the Microsoft Azure AZ500 exam comprises 40 to 60 questions that need to be completed within a time span of 150 minutes. There are different types of questions present during the exam including case study, short answers, multiple choice, mark review, drag, and drop, etc. A candidate has to score a minimum of 700 or more points in order to pass the exam. The exam will cost you 165 US dollars. Also, the exam is available in four languages, namely English, Japanese, Chinese, and Korean. Exam Detailed Course Outline First, Manage Identity and Access, which compromises 20-25% weightage in this exam. Second, Implement Platform Protection, which compromises 35-40% weightage in this exam. Third, Manage Security Operations, which compromises 15-20% weightage in this exam. Fourth, Secure Data and Applications, which compromises 30 to 35% weightage in this exam. Let us now discuss about course outline topics in detail. First, Manage Identity and Access. Number 1. Configure Azure Active Directory for Workloads. It contains 10 subtopics which are First, Create App Registration. Second, Configure App Registration Permission Scopes. Third, Manage App Registration Permission Consent. Fourth, configure multi-factor authentication settings. Fifth, manage Azure AD directory groups. Sixth, manage Azure AD users. Seventh, install and configure Azure AD Connect. Eighth, configure authentication methods. Ninth, implement conditional access policies. Tenth, configure Azure AD identity protection. Number two, configure Azure AD privileged identity management. It contains three subtopics which are First, monitor privileged access Second, configure access reviews Third, activate privileged identity management Number three, configure Azure tenant security It contains two subtopics which are First, transfer Azure subscriptions between Azure AD tenants Second, manage API access to Azure subscriptions and resources Second, implement platform protection. Number one, implement network security. It contains eight subtopics which are, first, configure virtual network connectivity. Second, configure network security groups. Third, implement and configure Azure Firewall. Fourth, create and configure Azure Front Door Service. Fifth, create and configure application security groups. Sixth, Configure Remote Access Management 7th, Configure Baseline 8th, Enable Resource Firewall Number 2, Implement Host Security It contains 5 subtopics which are 1st, 
configure endpoint security within the VM. Second, configure VM security. Third, pardon VMs in Azure. Fourth, configure system updates for VMs in Azure. Fifth, create baseline. Number three, configure container security. It contains six subtopics which are First, create network. Second, configure authentication. Third, configure container isolation. Fourth, implement AKS security. Fifth, configure container registry. Sixth, implement vulnerability management. Number four, implement Azure resource management security. It contains five subtopics which are First, create Azure resource locks. Second, manage resource group security. Third, configure Azure policies. Fourth, enable custom RBAC roles. Fifth, configure subscription and resource permissions. Third, manage security operations. Number one, configure security services. It contains three subtopics which are First, create Azure Monitor. Second, configure diagnostic logging and log retention. Third, configure vulnerability scanning. Number two, configure security policies. It contains two subtopics which are First, configure centralized policy management by using Azure Security Center. Second, configure just-in-time VM access by using Azure Security Center. Number three, manage security alerts. It contains four subtopics which are First, create and customize alerts. Second, review and respond to alerts and recommendations. Third, configure a playbook for a security event by using Azure Sentinel. Fourth, investigate escalated security incidents. Fourth, secure data and applications. Number one, configure security policies to manage data. It contains three subtopics which are First, configure data classification. Second, configure data retention. Third, create data sovereignty. Number two, configure security for data infrastructure. It contains 11 subtopics which are First, enable database authentication. Second, enable database auditing. Third, configure Azure SQL database advanced threat protection. Fourth, configure access control for storage accounts. Fifth, enable key management for storage accounts. Sixth, configure Azure AD authentication for Azure storage. Seventh, Configure Azure AD Domain Services Authentication for Azure Files. 8th, Create and Manage Shared Access Signatures. 9th, Configure Security for HD Insight. 10th, Create Security for Cosmos DB. 11th, Configure Security for Azure Data Lake. Number 3, Configure Encryption for Data at Rest. It contains 4 subtopics which are. 1st, Implement Azure SQL Database Always Encrypted. 2nd, Implement database encryption. Third, execute storage service encryption. Fourth, implement disk encryption. Number four, configure application security. It contains three subtopics which are First, configure SSL or DLS certs. Second, configure Azure services to protect web apps. Third, create an application security baseline. Number five, configure and manage key vault. It contains six subtopics which are First, manage access to key vault Second, manage permissions to secrets, certificates, and keys Third, configure our back usage in Azure key vault Fourth, manage certificates Fifth, manage secrets Sixth, configure key rotation Exam policies Microsoft upholds the responsibility to provide exam policies in order to make sure that the planning and management of the exams are conducted efficiently and in the best interest of aspirants. Microsoft certification exam policies are a compendium of all the exam related details along with the before and after exam procedures. These exam policies are the inclusion of certain rules that need to be followed during the exam time or at testing centers. Now, we will talk about Microsoft Azure preparation resources. We will be providing the step by step preparation guide. To get the most from your efforts in the AZ500 exam preparation. First, Microsoft Learning Platform. Once you make up your mind to appear for the AZ500 exam, the very next step should be a visit to the Microsoft official site. This official page provides trustworthy 
and updated information about the exam. Aspirants who wish to appear for the exam can find eligibility criteria, pricing details, exam objectives, and other major details on the official page. Second, Instructor-led training. Instructor-led training is basically an online learning and training session by industry experts or certified instructors. This particular training cannot be more advantageous to all those who have tiny slots between their ongoing chores. These are totally on-demand classrooms, where you arrange classes at your convenience, and learn at your pace. Instructor-led training help aspirants, to iron out their weaknesses, and thereby increasing their chances of passing the exam. Third, AZ500 Books. Books are the most important ingredient of certification preparation. They are the oldest, yet the most efficient ways to prepare for the exam. The marketplace is flooded with AZ500 books, which can surely give your preparation an upper hand. Fourth, online forums. Online forums are the ideal additions to the preparation journey for the exam. Candidates often face distractions and obstacles during their preparation journey. At this particular time, online forums and study groups prove to be the ultimate salvation for the candidates. Joining community centers help you meet like-minded people who are preparing for AZ500 and other Azure certification exams. Fifth, practice test. The final recommendation for your preparatory guide involves practice tests. Practice tests provide assistance to the candidates by providing the experience of a real examination. They provide quick results and detailed reports of the candidate's performance, which eventually helps the candidate to find out the areas of strengths and weaknesses in different domains. For more such videos, subscribe to our channel.